What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, everybody, check it out, man. We got some updates for the Rings of Power viewership uh, on Amazon Prime. And look, we already know it's bad, okay? We already know that the viewership is garbage. It's bad. We saw these numbers that were reported from Samba TV, all right? Uh, 1.8 million U.S. households watched the season one premiere. And now in the season two premiere, uh, only 902,000 U.S. households watched that, okay? Okay, so that's a 50% decline. Actually, it's an over 50% decline uh, when you factor in the number of days, you know, that they calculated this over uh, four days for, for season one and then five days for season two. Okay, so we know it's bad, but you might be wondering, all right, whatever, you know, maybe that's the case. Only half the viewers came back from season one to season two. But are they sustaining these viewers? Are they maintaining the viewership? You know, are the same people that came back for season two, are they still rocking with the show? Are they still watching it? You know, that's important as well. Are they sticking around? Are they holding on to the fans that did show up to watch this thing? Or have they lost them too? Or maybe they're growing them week over week. You know, we saw that with Andor. Andor grew its viewership as time went on. So by the time we got to the season finale, yeah, Andor's viewership was doing just fine. You know? They built an audience up over time because of the quality of the show. So maybe that's the same case with the Rings of Power. You know, maybe that's what's going on right over here, right? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, thatparkplace.com. Shout out John F. Trent. Uh, viewership data shows Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, total watch time declined by over 51%. In its third week, it's already in the Acolyte territory. Yeah, so uh, yeah, people are checking out, all right? The people that came back are now checking out. They say, all right, man, we'll give season two a shot, man. Look, only 37% of the people that watched season one even bothered to finish it, you know? But apparently some people, yeah, all right, man, we're going to give it another chance. You know, we like Lord of the Rings. We like the universe, Tolkien. All right, we're rocking with that. Maybe we'll come back and give this thing another try. And even these guys are done. All right, they're like, look, man, this is trash. All right, it's declined over 51% in the third week. So what is this thing going to look like by the end of this show? I got to think it's like three weeks left, okay? This has just been an absolute train wreck for Amazon. And you got to wonder if they're even thinking right now, yo, we can't keep this going. We got to shit can these showrunners get these idiots out of here or we're just going to have to pull the plug on the whole thing. I say pull the plug. All right. Pull the plug. Maybe start over. You know, there's no shame in admitting that you screwed up, that you dropped the ball, that you messed up. You know, and just saying, hey, you know what? We got it. We botched it. Okay, we understand, folks. You guys are dropping like flies out there. We're just going to start this whole thing over. We're going to fire everybody involved, and we're just going to bring in new showrunners and new filmmakers and new actors and directors. We're just going to start all the way over, okay? Give us about five years, and we'll try to get this thing back on track. We apologize. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Yeah, all right. That's kind of the hallmark of being grown up is a grown up will admit their mistakes. These idiots will never admit their mistakes. They'll never take an L. This thing is just going to keep on losing viewers, losing money left, right and center. I just don't understand it, man. Like, you know, like money is tight right now and they're just throwing money away with this entire franchise. It's absolutely hilarious. But yeah, that's basically where this thing is at right now. 51% down in its third week, and it's only going to get worse because I'm pretty sure that it's going to be another decline from week three to week four and then week four to week five, so on and so on and so on. Now, and yeah, remember, these guys thought that this shit was going to be Game of Thrones. Man, Game of Thrones wasn't doing this bullshit. <laughs> Just losing, losing viewers over half the viewers every week. Man, this wasn't going down with Game of Thrones. Are you kidding me? absolutely ridiculous man but yeah let's go ahead and see what john is talking about uh new viewership data from luminate reveals that lord of the ring rings of power total watch time for its third week declined by over 51 percent wild man uh data analytics company luminate reports that lord of the rings rings of power only garnered uh 372.7 million minutes watch for the week of september 6th through september 12th uh, that is 51 percent less than the show's second week where it garnered 700 and 64.7 million minutes watched and it kind of shows this little chart right here let me go ahead and blow this up real quick yeah so you can see it right here uh rings of power was in this four spot uh season two okay and if you scroll over you can see the information that they're referring to all right so uh the estimated minutes watched for this week 
All right, this past week, uh, which is the fifth episode, week three, uh, 372.7 million minutes. Uh, that was, you know, the previous estimated minutes watch, uh, 764.7 million minutes. Uh, that's down 51%. I mean, that's wild, man. That's wild. Nobody is checking for this show. All right. The, the people that they are getting to watch this are absolutely checking out. I mean, it's not as bad as I guess some of this other stuff that's on Netflix. Uh, whatever is it? The worst ever, you know, chaos and all these over here. All right. These things ain't doing so hot either. OK, but I mean, these guys ain't Lord of the Rings. All right. These other little shows and franchises. This ain't Tolkien. This ain't J.R.R. Tolkien and one of the most revered franchises of all time. That's not what these guys are down here. So you really can't compare the two. But yeah, it's just insane, man, that this is how far this thing has dropped. 51%. And I guarantee you it's going to be more of a drop off as we keep going. We'll probably finally get to the people that actually think this show is good. And like they said, it's getting into that acolyte territory because that's how the acolyte is. You know, a bunch of people watching it at the beginning and it just fell off, fell off, fell off to the final number. And that's the real only fans that it had in the YouTubers, obviously the YouTubers and the Disney Star Wars shills. And that's pretty much where we are with it right now. And he mentions that Illuminate is not the only data analytics company that shows prime videos. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power has seen massive viewership fall off with its second season. Asamba TV uh, reported that it only tracked 902 U.S. households uh, watching the first episode of season two within the first five days. And of course, that was a uh, balance between the 1.8 million that tuned in for the season one premiere over four days. Again, if you factor it out, he says it's a decline to 49.8 percent. But if you take it day by day, yeah, that's well over 50 percent. All right. Well over 50 percent drop off. Yeah. And that leads you to wonder about season three. Is there going to be a season three? All right. Movie Web reports it right here. Uh, Rings of Power season three is in the works, but it has not been greenlit yet. Yeah. Why would you green light it? Why would you green light season three at this point? You see the viewership just like the rest of us. The viewership is falling off the side of a cliff. Are we kidding here? Pull the plug. All right. It's dead, Doc. The, the, the patient is dead. Pull the plug. It's over. Why are we keeping this sucker on life support? There's nothing that can help this thing at this point. Again, only 37% of the people that even started season one finished it. Only half of the people that started season one came back for season two. And then it's been a 50% decline from the second week to the third week. And it's probably going to get even worse. What are we doing here? We're done. Okay. Just call it quits. Hey, that's a wrap. Hey, we tried. Okay. Call it quits. Admit your mistakes. Pull the plug. Take about five years off. Go back. Retool. Rehire Tom Chippy. Say, hey, Tom, here's a fruit basket. We're sorry we fired you. We should have never fired you. All right. We should have fired these idiots, these two show running morons. All right. These con artists. We should have fired them and kept you. And we probably would be doing great right now. You know, but again, they wanted to turn it into some nonsense Game of Thrones. Um, I thought that this uh, little story was interesting right here uh, from Screen Rant. Uh, the Rings of Power is finally honoring Amazon's Game of Thrones replacement wish. See, the fact that they were even trying to make Game of Thrones out of this was stupid to begin with. And what they're talking about, it says uh, the Rings of Power season two Numenor story feels a lot like Game of Thrones uh, politics, violence and murder. Yeah, that's what I think about when I think of Lord of the Rings. All right. I think of politics, violence and murder. I mean, what are we doing here, man? What are we doing here? Game of Thrones. That's a Game of Thrones story. One thousand percent. But that's not what Lord of the Rings is. It's not all of this backstabbing nonsense or whatever. That's not the story. That's not what Tolkien is. When I think of Tolkien, Tolkien, there is a certain morality to Tolkien that does not exist in Game of Thrones. All right. And Tolkien is very clear about good versus evil. You know, he's very clear about that in his storytelling. And, you know, Game of Thrones is kind of blurred. You know, it's kind of like, eh, you know, a little subjective, you know, morality going on there. Whereas with Tolkien, nope, it's very clear, good, evil. That's what we got. So, yeah, when you start saying, well, we're going to do all of this politics, violence, and murder, you know, I mean, golly, man. Like, again, this is what I'm talking about. Fire everyone. This right here, and I haven't seen episode five yet, so I'm not sure how this would fit. I'll check it out eventually, but I have no desire to go and watch this show. 
You know, I have no desire whatsoever. But yeah, this doesn't sound like J.R.R. Tolkien. This doesn't sound like Lord of the Rings at all. All right. When I think of Lord of the Rings, I do not think about violence, murder, and politics. I mean, what the fuck is going on here, man? So, yeah, uh, when they say, oh, yeah, uh, should we, uh, you know, green light season three? No. No, you should not green light season three, okay? Jennifer Salky should come out. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, it's me, Jennifer Salky. I apologize for that shit show that you guys saw, saw for two seasons. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it into that. Uh, we're going to start from scratch. Uh, we've already fired the two uh, asshats that were running the show. We fired those idiots, and we're bringing in some new folks, okay? We sent uh, Tom Shippey a fruit basket. We're waiting to hear back. Uh, but there's no way in hell we're going to green light a season three and continue this pain, all right? We care more about you, our audience, and J.R.R. Tolkien than that. So, yeah, no chance in hell that this season three is going to happen. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. But again, yeah, I mean, the numbers are, the numbers don't lie, all right? The numbers don't lie, all right? Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie, all right? This tells you everything you need to know when it comes to this show. Get it gone. That's all I got to say, Amazon. Get it gone. Pull the plug. Move on to bigger and better things. All right. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.